What's up, ladies and gents? I'm Legion 27, and welcome your faces to Red Dead Redemption. So, this game, I found the 364, eh, a little bit. It's, uh, it just became backwards compatible with the Xbox One, so I decided, hey, let's just start a completely new, or complete new series and, uh, a live stream thing. So I'm going to try and do this like a daily stream. Uh, I can't promise anything that it will continue to be a daily thing because of life and stuff. So anyways, um, so yeah, Red Dead Redemption. If you guys don't know what it is, it is practically Grand Theft Auto Western. That's, that's the best way to put it, except without the cars. So anyway, guys, let's get into this. And let's see, let's do normal. This should be pretty fun. I know, I, if I remember correctly, it was really fun the first time I played it. I remember when everyone was playing it a long time ago. And they said it was probably the, one of the best games they've ever played. I couldn't agree more. And the graphics still look pretty good. This is an older game too. Like six, seven years. Rockstar Games presents Red Dead Redemption. Alright, here we go on our little adventure. As you probably have already guessed, this is our main character. I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree That's racist. more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. What's up, King? Welcome to the stream. Innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. You know, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Oh, yes, crap. they live like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, I believe that was a reference. Mr. Johns wants to run for governor. Which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the 
Tom's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. Oh, crap. Get some politics in here. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we no, have. No, it is not. The chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Armadillo. But yeah, the uh, Back to the Future, that was the reference with the whole flying car. All right. After a ward. Oh. Well, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, yeah. Oop. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. Well, pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. All right. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. Looks like I have a uh, Bowie knife. My left hip. Let's get. All right. How the heck do I get on the horse? I heard someone bagged that giant mountain lion nearby. But I don't believe it. It says Y on the bomb right. Good job, Legion. Ain't no point in causing a row. Okay. Okay, you have to constantly press A. Or double click A. Holy crap. Hey Ray, what's up? How's it going? Welcome, welcome to stream. Okay, win. So I love these kind of games. It's really, really fun. Um, like GTA, uh, Red Dead Redemption, you Assassin's Creed. Any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I the, those exploration, exploration Man, games. For some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Open world. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> oh, crap. Bad, Jake. Bad. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it was the marshal who hired me. 
Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater fig bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Trying to keep up with this guy. But yeah, again, the graphics and the gameplay. You ain't very tall, phenomenal. Man, are you? No. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I Chewing am. the dog. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Oh, man. How much I love these kind of games. Open world games Damn, are probably my favorite. What a waste of good meat. Almost there, Mr. Marson. Just over this hill. Come on, easy up now. And Mafia too. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. Alright, guys, so I'm back. I do apologize about what happened. No idea. It's the broadcast decided to cut out. But anyways. We're at a uh, fort, and it's been taken over by bandits, and we're going to see what we can do. Alright, so... Come on. Fort Mercer. Hello. Go away now, John. <laughs> ah, Don't there he is. Let me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. There's always a guy named Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Yes. Yes, you do. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> Yep. You implore me. Mm, that's what I said. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. Implores. I, I implores you. To go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Holy crap. <laughs> Poor John. Well, that's it, folks. Crap, now these people are going to eat my body. Oh, man. I can't believe forgot that happened. What's wrong with people? Take random bodies on the side of the road. New friends, old problems. Let's find out what happens next. Let's 
Cost three is also a good game. So it would seem. So how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was. Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us fifteen dollars. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To yep. die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Oh, dang. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Yep. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Go kill people. time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, we better go catch it. With me later, help me patrol the perimeter. You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life. I mean, next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. And no promises. All right, so yeah, 15 bucks. That's a lot of money. All right, so let me go check some stuff real quick. Consumables. Ah, I can go have a war horse. Uh, kit, basic campsite, provisions. All right, so crap. What have I done? No, didn't mean to use it. Crap. Oh well. Whatever. What's up, Gilmore? How's it going? Welcome, welcome to the stream. And I do apologize about the uh, cutouts. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the stream, but it just loves being stupid to me. So let's go, go, go. Whoop. Who uses a front fence? Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Indeed. I figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Red Dead, me drink. Yep. Yep. Prepare to start your uh, drinking game, ladies and gents. For I shall be dying a lot. Probably. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Pop on up. He won't bite. Yeah! Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearings. All right. Here we go. Let's go. That black horse, I love it. Ah, this game's still so good. Right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but. It certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've <laughs> stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Well, I was dead, so I couldn't really say anything. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. The 
Trying to get up there. It's not letting me. Come on, let's go, let's go. There we go. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Oop. Come back. I'm not paying attention. I'm too busy reading. Oh my gosh. I'm too busy reading the chat. Oh, I'm just ran her over. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that wasn't my fault. It was the horse. It was the horse. Oh, that's such a fail. That's such a fail, ladies and gents. I'm so sorry. Everyone's gonna be start leaving. Oh no. Oh no. I'm so sorry, guys. Gosh dang it. Uh, I don't want to do this again. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get off the horse and I ran her over. <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Welcome everyone who has now joined the stream. Welcome, welcome your faces. Hope you enjoy. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. Hell yeah. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Hmm. This will be fun. Come on, then. Let's mount up and take a look around. How are you today? What are you doing? Good God. Come on. Right. Follow me. Keep your eyes peeled for anything. Hey, suspicious. George. What's up? How's it going? Welcome, welcome to stream. Hell yeah. So yeah, sorry guys. I know the very beginning is really boring, but we're, we'll get into it. Look, those damn rabbits are at the crops again. Get down and give me a hand, will you? Alright. I'm just gonna try and dismount my horse. No! No! <laughs> Don't do it again. Okay, just, it's just why. Oh, come on. Hell yeah. Okay, automatically reloads. Good. We should keep moving. Oh, jeez. This is going to be fun. It's going to be fun trying to figure out all, on, all the time. But yeah, the bunny massacre. <laughs> I used to raise rabbits, actually, back in high school. Oh, no. Please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. You should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Who wants that? No one wants a lady of leisure. Oh my gosh, I almost killed you. Down you come. Hurry, I'm just going to break for the chicken coop. 
Where is it? Where where are they? Damn coyotes! Dang it, the guy away. What's up, darling? You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Hmm. Really? You can starve? Um, just by eating a rabbit? Oh, interesting. Let's hit you up real quick. I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming, but... Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, All right. Mr. No idea how you're riding that horse with that dress on right now, but... It's just a game. Save points! I shall wake up six hours later. That's actually how how long I sleep. Sweet. Extra ammo. 150 fame. Heck yeah. Plus 50 honor. Yeah, I'm going to try to be an... Not an outlaw. I'm going to try and be more of a... Awesome dude.